known as one of the most intimidating road venues in college football, thanks to the 12th man. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They bring him down in the backfield. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Out of game, six yards. Third down. He gets another carry. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Smith, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Chapman was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's taken down at the 39. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. Tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check it out, it's up there. Pull down, pull down. Set, lightning! Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Chapman was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Pierce fields it at the 24, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So the Aggies really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Hits the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line. It's second down. There's it out. Oh, he's hit hard for a loss. to his back and he's got him again he's tackled the 38 yard line well that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception but the defense wasn't giving up anything smith is back to receive He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. 
So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From their own 15-yard line, first down. And he gets a yard on the run. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. He's scrambling. He's hit and got away. And they push him out at the 25. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. From their own 25-yard line, it's first down. Fires incomplete to the fullback. Number 43, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gain of three yards. That makes it third and seven. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Four down, four down. Check, check 43. 51, Mike. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. Throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys. They make it look so easy. He makes it to the 42-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Ready. Check, check. Back down. They try running left. He's at midfield. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. From the 43-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. With the quarterback sack. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Here's play number ten on the drive. Almost intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. First and ten, ball on the 39. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Made at the 41. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 41. Coach 
left. Gains four yards on that reception. Four yards. That makes it fourth and four. Smith is back deep to return. He takes it in at the 14. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. From their own 33-yard line, second down. He's in trouble, and he's tackled around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Man left, man left. Pull it out, pull it out. Watch 85, ball. Here we go. Line 80. Why? 80. Come on. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Down was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kurt. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, but I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Davis gets the ball. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 46-yard line, first down. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He has some room. He's at the 20, the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing him the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Throws and it's incomplete. It might not be a lot of fun, but when you're a receiver, you've got to be able to take some hits and hang on to the football. It's just part of the game. Second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially... When the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Smith is back awaiting the punt. at 
at the 45. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Texas A&M up seven points. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. He goes at the 42 yard line. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. After a quarter of play, we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7 0, Texas AM. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Quick pass, and he's taken down at about the 49. That's a gain of one on the play. From their own 49-yard line. Second, and long. second down. Now he's flushed and they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Go Mike 51, Mike 51. Hey, 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 let's calm down. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Texas A&M is up seven. He fields it at the 17. And he's taken down at the 32. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. This will foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you Still preach fundamentals down. every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From their own 16-yard line, first down. At about the 15 yard line. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. From their own 15-yard line. Third down. He guns it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Here's the give, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Just gets rid of it, and that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. 
Smith is back deep to return the punt. And down he goes at the 29. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Runs it, and he's stopped short of the line of scrimmage. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 27. that quickly incomplete there was some movement on the line ball start offense They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third and even longer now after the penalty. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! Here we go! He's tackled around the 43 yard line. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 44. Texas a and is up a score. And they hit him in the backfield. Call it a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball in the 48. So the Aggies tied in down there on the sideline. He's such a key ingredient in their offense, both in the running game and the passing game. And hopefully he'll be able to get back in this ball game. He gets rid of this one. This is the eighth play of this drive. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Just throws this one away. It's second down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. They come out in a goal line set. And he's tackled at your positive yardage. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it third and five. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike Wood. Takes it and he's tackled short. Loss of two by the halfback.
And they're coming after this putter. Smith fields it at the 48. He's taken down at the 34. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas A&M up seven points. Now he's scrambling. It's a fumble. Recovered by the defense. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up third and two. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Fourth and five. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. Smith fields it at the 34. Tackle made at the 44 yard line. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Texas A&M is up seven. They try to get a head start there. Motion, motion, motion. Ball start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. They'll drop him for a loss. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and long. He goes downtown. It's intercepted. So it's intercepted by the corner after the errant pass. Well, the corner came up with a pick, but he can thank his defensive line for that one. They got up into the quarterback's face, put the pressure, and made him get rid of the ball, and the corner was there to make the pick. They line up at the 12. First down. And they make the stop at about the 13. And he gets a yard on the run. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 11. Texas A&M's going to take their first time out of the half. 
Smith, the return man. Smith fields it at the 48. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Loss of seven yards on the play. Third down. Didn't get enough on the long ball. Now the quarterback can't worry about getting hit back there. He's got to step up and make the throw downfield to the receiver. Try to change the field position with this kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Coming, and they're going to come after this one. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding, receiving team. 42 yard that penalty punch. is declined. Out of bounds with the 32 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And this one falls incomplete. We've played a half. Texas A&M leads it 7-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But 
you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Texas A&M is up a score. Wants to go long and does. And got him. Bundle, loose ball. They fall on it. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. From the 27 yard line. It's first down. Complete. He's got room. Touchdown, Texas AM. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 14-0. Small has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas A&M's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. run there. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. And he hauls that one in. And he's tackled at the 43. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Mike one, Mike one. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Fires it out. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 30-yard line, first down. Here's an opening. He's tackled at the 18. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First and 10. He's scrambling. He's taken down right around the 12-yard line. Oh, 
That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackle at the two. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense, and look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. He gets rid of this one. Here's play number 10 on the drive. made just outside the goal line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. Touchdown, Florida! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he converts the extra point. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. I love to watch a quarterback and he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Texas AM up seven points. Looking for the corner, he's to the 40. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. Fires incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Washed out and he's going to get sacked. Loss of two yards on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. Pierce is back deep to return the punt. He's taken down at the 25. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Now he tries to buy some time. Got a man wide open, and it goes through his hands. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Make 
makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. George on tackle with the 36 yard line. That brings up third and 10. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Smith back deep to return. at the 33. For Florida, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Blame the pressure or the confusion, but this offense has also given it away three times. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, their output has been dismal so far, that's for sure. When you have a bunch of negative plays, it drags you down. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Texas A&M is up seven. And he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. 51, Mike. Mike's 51. Hazard. Just throws this one away. Throws out and through his hands. Incomplete. Brown was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Pierce back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 48-yard line, first down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Call it a gain of 14 yards. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. They're about four yards away here on second down. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Mike one! They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 14-10, Texas A&M. 
McPherson is lined up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Texas A&M's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. The Gators running back, he was injured earlier. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Texas A&M's up by four. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's in trouble. Got hit and still completed it. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Hill on the tackle at the 48-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. scrambles and he's gonna be sacked they need to run some screens and some quick slants to try to take advantage of this pursuit because this defense is coming after him it's second and 12 ball on their own 46 Texas A&M is up four Up the middle for a nice game. Brings him down. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it third and seven. And this play is number eight on the drive. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the 10th play of this drive. Just throws this one away. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. He's wrapped up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game.
gets out to around the 28. Call the game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Fourth down. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 47. Return for a gain of 16 yards. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Texas AM is up by four. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. On play action. Defense coming. Looks left. Intercepted. Here he goes. He's at the 30 for the 20. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. That was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. Pearson looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The day has not gone very well for this young man. I, I think the reason he's struggling is because of the defense and the way the defense is mixing up their coverages. Let, let's give a lot of credit here to the defensive coordinator and the pressure that this defense has been able to apply on him because they have really forced the mistakes that he's made. For the sake of holding out of this slim lead, he has to be very careful with the football or the fans might just let him hear it. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Tackle around the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That will make it third and five. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check it out, just there. Let's go! Yeah. Line 80! Line! Line 80! Under heavy pressure. Quick throw, caught by the fullback. And he shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up fourth and three. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Pierce takes it at the 32. And he's taken down at the 45. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Florida has a three-point lead. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. First down. From the 45-yard line. First down. Nice 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. That's a game of 17 on the play. First down. in and hit immediately for a loss. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 32-yard line. got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. They get nice yardage on that run. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll make it third and 13. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Sails it low. Got it. Touchdown, Florida. Big time touchdown, and that should do it. And he adds the extra point. It was a five-play, 60-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So the score now, 24-14. It's been a good day for this cornerback, Kirk. This is one of those performances that the guys back in the studio in Bristol are going to be talking about all night long. And with those two interceptions, this kid's really making his presence felt for this defense. With this one almost in the bag, he just wants to make a few more plays and hold on. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Mike 51, Mike 51. 10, 9, 8, motion, motion. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Caught down right around the 38-yard line. at midfield. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Well, that's a big game there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's going to go for the home run. It's picked off. And it's the sophomore. And it's the defense that delivers the knockout punch with that interception. From their own 22-yard line. First down. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 40. So the Aggies taking their first time out of the half. He 
he's got an opening. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And that tackle very well could have saved the touchdown. Texas a and going to have to use their second time out of the half. That makes it first and 10. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Texas A&M's out of timeouts. After a decent pickup. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it third and one. to about the five. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-14, Gators. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.